In this tutorial, I'm going to expand upon the subtractive synthesis that we looked at, our modular synthesis, and uh, do some sort of uh, noise base or glitch kind of style synthesis. So let's start um, with our basic synth def. And we'll just call this glitchy. have a function that's going to make sound. Okay, And so basically the idea is using subtractive synthesis but mostly just using sort of noise sources and then there's various things we can do with that. So I'm going to have a look at just various a couple noise makers to see that what you can do and look at maybe filtering the noise a bit and of course enveloping it as well and then finally uh, granulating it in some way so you can maybe make some interesting textures that way um, uh, as well as using modulators as well so let's just start with an out we just send it out zero or left channel and we'll just create a variable there called synth that's going to be our synthesizer Okay, and let's just start now with just a noise maker. Now again, the SC3 plugins um, are kind of nice, and one of the ones I, I like quite a bit is called uh, Gendy. Uh, it's particularly good for bass sounds, and there's uh, a number of them, but let's just use Gendy 1, for example. Okay, and Gendy's worth looking at because it's based on this uh, algorithm. It's fairly complicated. Um, but they do give sorry they do give uh, quite a bit of advice as to what things to do there's a number of the different parts of the algorithm the 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 inputs to it and uh but it's sort of spelled out here uh, in particular sort of ranges to 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 give a try 0 to 1 blah etc cetera, etc cetera. and then of course examples to try out as well so uh uh, you know, if we look at some of these random noise effects or scream or play me, these sorts of modulate distributions, wasp, we can have a number of different um, possibilities there. Uh, let's try something like this. Uh, random noise effect. Okay. So look, that's an interesting kind of noise generator. So basically, we're going to sort of take this, just the Gendy part here. Gendy 1 AR. Uh, can't see how many parentheses I'm taking with me, but I'll get rid of them up here. Okay, Gendy 1 AR. Uh, and initial CPs is one of these control points is one okay and so they do get, get your basic synth basic noise generation there and then uh let's bring my server it always booted a equals synth glitchy So we send that synth def away, and then we make some sound. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything else here that's a little bit brighter? Let's see. Well, there's a scream one, but maybe we won't go that far. There's a wasp one. That would be kind of interesting. There's another one that modulates the number of CPs. Interesting as well. Uh, well, anyways, you can go through these and just sort of find the ones you like. Also, there's Gendy 2 and Gendy 3. Let me look at Gendy 3, for example. I think this is kind of an interesting one as well. Oops. Okay. okay. Well, we can also fill in with mix as well, and we learned about that. So let's just stick with this sort of basic noise, and, and we'll, as we go on, we'll maybe fill in with some other things to do. Okay, now um, uh, we'll just continue on our basic thing. So one thing that's kind of interesting to do, uh, we might have to have an amp. So let's make an argument and an overall amplitude. 
let's make this equal to um, one. And let's just have this synth times amp. So we can control the amplitude independently. We'll have to make it a little louder. Um, and uh, we'll start with just a basic envelope. So as we learned in uh, previous tutorials, we'll just create an envelope generator here. And I'll just use a, a linear envelope. Okay, then I can just set and it will, it's just a standard shape. And then I'll define these things as well. Okay, and then a gate here. Um, we'll just say, we'll call this env, because we're going to do something with that later. All right, and then of course we have to create all these arguments, so atk equals, let's make uh, a reverse kind of style envelope, 0.8, svs equals, uh, say, a little bit of sustain and release equals very short and we'll have a uh, uh, a curve all right now uh, uh, so we have noise and we have an envelope noise and we have to multiply that by the envelope as well and so, whoops, let's see, env gate. Okay. All right. Well, this has to be, uh, um, well, for now, we'll make an argument. And then I'll show you the var variable version of it. Okay. Zero for now. And we'll get rid of that there. All right. So if we send that away, send that here. And then we have to do a to trigger the envelope. There we go. And of course, we have to reset it. And then to re-trigger it. And then we can just control period to end everything. Our a.free is fine as well. All right, so we have envelope noise, which is kind of interesting. We can do some interesting things already with that, make some percussive things, some kind of noise-based instruments, that sort of thing. Uh, um, and uh, But let's boost up the noise a little bit. Let's mix it with another synth here. We'll say, call it tone or something like that. And then we'll make a tone synth and maybe a saw. And we'll call this Saw Freak. All right. And then we'll make that an argument here. Let's make that 100 for now. Okay. And then we'll mix those two. And we'll mix Tone with synth. Okay, and of course we could have independent amps as well, but let's just see how that sounds for now. Uh, right, 7.1. Okay, so the tone's pretty dominant. Let's have tone amp. And um, uh, noise amp. And actually, it's quite quiet, the noise, so we'll, we'll boost it up a little bit. Something like that. That's interesting. Okay. So I think we have the starts of something there, uh, some kind of noise-based synth there. 
All right. Uh, of course, another thing we can look at is um, is filtering. Now we can just choose to just filter this noise part of it if we want. And let's go back to our trusty BMOOG. And let's send itself. And that's just a noise part. And we'll say, uh, okay. And we'll just keep the mode um, low pass there. Um, yeah, so why not? And we'll make an argument here of the filter frequency. Okay, so we're going to have a filter frequency. Oh, and why don't we uh, just go ahead and introduce some modulation as well. So we'll have LF01, and we'll make that equals to a sine oscillator. Okay, in this case, and we'll have LF01 freak, and then uh, range it. Now we're ranging it for uh, the filter frequency. This is a frequency range, say for now 100. Of course, you can make the range arguments as well. I didn't show you that last time, say to 5,000. Okay, and instead of uh, putting filter frequency, we'll put an LF01 there. So it's sweeping there. Um, and let's just see how that sounds. Uh, all right, uh, a freak. Oh, because I didn't put an argument in there, which we got rid of anyways. All right, okay, so I have to define this LFO frequency. I made that a, uh, an argument on the fly there. And we'll make that uh, 0 0.7, say something like that. Okay, and create an instance of low pitch. Okay. And maybe we'll set to 0 and set it to 1 again. And set some other thing, maybe make the sustain quite a bit longer. All right, so it's already kind of glitchy already because we have this noise amp and this tone amp um, going on, and it kind of has an interesting sound. All right, so we have um, we have this sort of swept filtered noise. Um, but let's let's look at that a little bit more particularly. To do that would simply be just to comment this out. So we're not mixing with a tone anymore, and we're going to listen to just the filter effect it has on the. Oops. Okay. Now it sounds kind of quiet, so maybe uh, let's get in here. Let's get every zero there. So we can reset that there. And then let's get in, uh, let's make that noise amp a little bit higher. All oh, right, it doesn't, it's not no longer multiplied by the noise amp. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you can kind of feel the effects there. Okay, so anyways, and, and these are some of our previous tutorials. There's a lot of different kind of modulation you can apply there. Um, but I just want to kind of put that in there to show you that we have the filter noise now, and then we can still combine it with our tones and mix that as well. Um, now, another uh, technique that I kind of wanted to get into is this idea of a, 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 a signal generator to execute our envelope. So it's getting back to this um, this envelope gate, this gate. So it, here manually, if we give it a zero, reset the, to, to envelope back, and we give it a one, it engages that envelope and sends an enveloped form of our sound through, okay? But in fact, you can do this internally with a, just a periodic generator, and you have uh, generators, for example, called impulse. So we'll say, a, we'll say a trigger, trig one, maybe, we'll call it that, and we'll make it equal to impulse. Okay, and this is going to send a 1 to 0 impulse at a certain frequency. Okay, and we'll say uh, rate. 
and we'll just call these all one, two, three. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make several of these, but for every every one you can do, you can create different rates. So we'll make an argument there, and maybe make this two, two times a second. Okay. So now we have this impulse generator, and it's generating a one to zero every uh, uh, twice a second. Um, and this is a way to create regular rhythms and beats to that. It's kind of interesting. So in here, instead of the envelope gate, we're going to put the trigger there. Okay, and let's see that go. So we go ahead and do it. And this time, we don't have to actually set the envelope to hear it. If we just set it going. Okay, now it's hard to distinguish it just because of the type of thing I have going on. But if we change maybe the sustain time here to a little bit shorter. And then maybe the rate. Something a little bit shorter as well. time so you see how you can just sit here and experiment all day and figure out something that works for you point one let's make a much shorter attack now we can speed the rate up a little bit since it's more of a, a, a discrete sort of entity of course if you do a, a real quick rate, you get sort of continuous sound, or very, very sparse rate. And you know, you can change like some of the mixtures, for example, maybe make that a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So you can have an internal rate there for sort of more regular things. But of course, if you speed it up quite a bit, it can uh, change. Um, it can make some nonlinear sort of changes. Okay, let's make another trigger, and we'll explore some other ones. And we'll make this trigger too, and we'll make it equal to this great U generator, unit generator called dust. Okay, and it generates like impulse, it generates impulses, but at a more irregular sort of random rate uh, way. So not a regular. So impulse generates at that rate. So if it's two, it's going to generate a, a clear every every uh, half a second. It's going to generate an impulse. Dust has an average. So if we make rate two, say uh, three, it averages about three times a second, but it does in these sort of clouds. And then let's just change our attack here, our gate here to trig two. Okay, and send that away. Actually, I want to make sure I killed it. I forgot if I killed it or not. And let's send that. Okay, and if we change this rate two to something a little bit slower, you can see it's kind of randomness, or even like this. a little faster okay anyways that gives you the idea and of course you can use um, you know in this modular sort of way I mean, you're really looking at whatever, a sort of small paragraph. You can create loads of different possibilities and just keep sort of building like Legos, just sort of keep stacking things on each other. So, for example, um, I'm going to 
uh, break out another instead of using the synth I'm going to use um, noise and two maybe we'll call it okay and I'm going to use another noise generator maybe just a more standard one white noise okay uh, dot AR okay I'll just leave it like that and then I'm going to move the the Gendy to an N1 okay so then we can make it even more modular and have different choices uh, and then we'll just cut that there and then instead in this place we'll put an N1 here N2 and see how that works And we can bring the the noise amp down. I'm going to change the rate of the dust maybe to something very fast and see what happens. Sometimes you get interesting results that way. Okay, so it's quite continuous with that kind of noise. So we'll look at granulating in just a minute. So okay. Of course, we can change the rate of our uh, LFO uh, frequency. Let's say LFO is an LFO one freak. Let me be very quick. Say. Put some more tone back in. Even more. So this, you know, uh, getting away from the Gendia is more of a consistent noise. Of course, again, it can be quite interesting if you change up this, the parameters and maybe have a maybe more constant sort of granular noise. Okay. Okay, so there you go. You can see how you can sort of sit there and play for a long time and uh, have these different building blocks one to another. So another thing, the last thing I just want to show is just granulating, so enveloping within the envelope. So we have an overall envelope right now that's giving us just a, uh, a sort of a burst of sound every time we trigger that envelope. But within that, we can have uh, what I'm gonna call a granulation or a grain envelope. Okay, and you can use basically the same principles that we've been using, except this will be sort of quicker, smaller envelopes within. So let's make the grain envelope equal to an gen. Okay, and then let's use a, a percussive envelope shape, env.perk. Okay, and it's looking for attack time release time. So we'll say G, uh, um, G A T K and G R E L and then omega curve G curves. Okay, something like that. And then we'll have uh, a, we'll put another, for the gate, we'll put a another uh, LFO there too. So actually, what we do have to make be careful to do is do things in order. So we're going to cut that there and put it under all our um, our uh, triggers and envelopes there, so that we can use those, reuse those in here. Okay. So that's blank there because I'm going to create something here. Uh, what do I want to use? Maybe the trig two. Maybe we'll have a trig three even. And we'll make that. I'm going to make a dust one for, for now and then see if we want to try some other ones. Also, you could use LF noise, which is similar to dust. Let's try that. LF noise zero. Okay. And that, again, just generates sort of a random, uh, a random number at a certain frequency. So we'll say rate three. And then we're going to range that. 
and what we need to do oh no i'm sorry we do just want uh oh no i'm sorry 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 uh elf noise is for something else we're going to use dust here but we're going to use elf noise within the rate and so this is just you know this is sort of like the russian dolls you're just putting things within things within things and sometimes you can get quite interesting results and then within the rate so this is now this lf noise is controlling the rate it's controlling the rate of it uh and we'll still use uh what did i call it? rate three okay so instead of actually putting a rate in dust we're going to use a, a, a random signal generator random to create a different rate every once in a while, okay? Uh, and it'll be randomly trigger. So we'll make it quite slow. Say every uh, every five seconds, it'll generate a new rate for this. And then we have to we have to range this rate. So what do we want the range to be? So a dust will go an average. If it's a dust one, it'll be an average of one time a second. So maybe we'll do something from slow, 0 0.5, so an average of once every two seconds, to an average of something like 20. Oh, I'll just go with 30, okay? Sorry, and then we need range, okay? So basically, if I can break this down for you, dust is generating a trigger, this trig three, which is triggering this envelope. Okay, so this green envelope, and it's triggering the, the 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 onset of this envelope, which happens to be a percussive one. Ah, I forgot to add these arguments. Let's do that real quick, and then I'll break it down for you. Uh, G A T K, and we'll make that very small. And G R E L again, quite small. And uh, G curve. And I'll make that equal to negative two, something like that. Okay, so again, in this green envelope, we have a trigger. The trigger is being controlled here by this dust object, right? So every time dust goes off, this envelope is triggered. Now, the dust usually has a sort of average rate. So if I put a number in as an argument for dust, say three, it'll average about uh, three times a second. Sometimes it'll go kick, 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 and then wait a little bit, but average is about three times a second. But if I want something a little bit more dynamic, I'm going to use another trigger, another sort of LFO or another generator to generate different uh, rates for the dust. So it'll sometimes be really slow and sometimes it'll be really quick. It can generate these rates and it'll generate these new rates at a n different rate, rate three, which is once every five seconds, once every five seconds and it'll generate a new rate for dust to go at. So it makes it a little bit more unpredictable. Okay, now finally, we are gonna double um, multiply. We're gonna multiply our synth by this granulator, and then we're gonna multiply the overall granulator by the overall envelope, okay? And so we're gonna do, we're gonna eat synth here, synth equals synth times the green envelope. Okay, and then synth will be multiplied by the amp envelope there. Hopefully, I didn't make any type O's. Let's see how that sounds. So you see that it's generating a new rate every once in a while, and it changes the sort of timbre. So that's kind of interesting. Now we can go back and use um, the, just the impulse rate if we want. So that's that trigger one for the overall envelope, which is this one here. So we'll change that back to trigger one. So we get a regular, so a regular rate one to one. Or three. A little bit again. 
again, you can just sit here and play forever. Okay. And if we want our sustain, we need to be a little bit longer. Okay. Well, I could sit here and play for, for ages, but I won't do that. Um, so basically that wraps it up. We, we looked at really a load of things today and uh, a, a great richness there. Pretty much you can make a whole career doing this stuff like that. Really interesting sort of glitch sounding things using noise based um, oscillators. And again, there's loads of different ones you can use. Gendy, there's one called Crackle, which is really interesting, as well as plenty of others. Just do a little search in the help files or online. And then we just did our basic sort of subtractive synthesis procedures, maybe mixing some, some other signals together, uh, having an envelope, uh, overall envelope. And then we looked at some other, um, other uh, techniques in uh, granulating and creating lots of little envelopes within the big envelope in doing some sort of uh, random sort of modulation using dust and creating an internal trigger for the envelopes that will uh, trigger trigger these sounds that are either a periodic rate or a more random kind of rate, and you create some quite interesting effects.